A little heartbreak that Weezy didn't take it, but we're still seeing he's in losers final, so don't worry about that. But let's get this loser Sammy's on here. Can I get Josh Brody back on stage? Wave at the crowd, Josh. Wave at the crowd. No, no, no. Just sit down, bro. Just sit down. <laughs> and can I get Kurt back on stage? All right, let's get this loser Sammy's on the way. I can take it to the commentators. Okay, so we have Josh and Court. Yeah, and they're just giving up on these interviews. Yeah, they're done. They're like, they don't want to say anything. And, I, you know, to be fair, I've always felt kind of weird about it. You're interviewing this guy about how he feels and how he thinks he's going to win, and he's sitting next to <laughs> the guy he's about to play. It's like... How do you how do you tell somebody that's or tell somebody else while the guy that you're talking about is sitting so right I, next I to have, you? You know, if, if I can ever stop being terrible at this game and actually make one of these top eights, <laughs> if, this, if someone interviews me, I'm sitting next to the guy I'm about to play. They're like, "How do you think you're gonna win this?" I'm either saying, "Dude, he's sitting right next to me. Yeah. Why would I tell you?" Or completely make something up. Yeah. I'm like, well, I think I might go link. <laughs> <laughs> and I really feel like I have a good chance, you know. Link, yeah. such a strong character, great recovery. I found out some interesting new tech. Uh, turns out neutral B is actually the best move yeah. in Pikachu's arsenal. Yeah. Yeah, so I'm going to be actually, throwing that out a lot. Actually, my plan here is to <laughs> counterpick to Pokemon Stadium 2 mini games. I think I really have a good chance there, um, yeah. so I'm going to do that. Yeah, I think instead we're, we're going to, I think we agreed beforehand we're actually going to Gentleman's to Roy Dittos on Poke yeah. Floats. Oh, yeah, yeah. We're going to play it, not even a different game, different Smash game yeah. all together. I try and keep it on the N64. Oh, okay. Fair enough. <laughs> That's my console. Okay. All right, so we're getting a, a Gommel rematch here uh, of a bracket where Court went Pika. When they met in pools, at Gommel, Court went Falcon and Yoshi and took the set. Uh, but they, when they played in bracket, Court went Pika. And he won both times, I believe, he right? Won, yeah, he did win both sets. Um, I don't know if they were both 3-0s, but he did win both sets. Yeah. Well, a 3-0 stroke streak is broken anyway. So. That's true. That's true. It is It is broken, so we don't care anymore. Yeah. If everything goes to game five now, oh well. Oh well. Take that, everyone. <laughs> All right. Uh, Court starting off strong, though, taking that first stock. Yep. Um, and Court, a big difference between these two guys in their games, Court, very combo heavy. He's got all the combos. Uh, Josh, not so much. Uh, he can do he can do them. Yeah. Uh, not nearly as consistent, though. Yeah. You think Josh is a little bit more neutral based? Definitely. I mean, they're both neutral. Like, they both have the neutral. Yeah. Uh, Court just also has the combos. Um, and Court plays so fast. That's another big difference. Uh, Josh, it seems like he's moving on like a next level when you see him play. He's he's always doing something. Yeah. Yeah. There's not as much waiting. Yeah, it's, it's just always throwing out a hitbox, so he's preparing for the next one. You don't know what he's doing because he's always doing something. You don't know what he's looking for because he's always doing something that he's not. Oh, both not of them. Missing grabs and shielding, but Josh ends up getting it. All right. Throwing out these forward airs. Back throw's not gonna kill. Sets him up for an edge guard situation. Okay. Up B's. And Court, he's he's again one of these stronger players that well goes for the thunder. Wow. That's, that there's a very narrow window where that works on Pika. <laughs> and just just to be clear, Josh is the naked rat. He's the naked Pika. <laughs> yeah. He, the one who just did that down B was actually Court. Which, if you have seen the earlier sets today, you might be yeah, a little confused about that. Yeah, I'm assuming Court is still the red hat despite despite being on the left side of the screen. Yeah. Um, just because Josh always plays naked rat. Yeah. And Court always plays red characters. Yeah. Court red Link, Court red rat, Court red fox, whatever you want to add him. Like, <laughs> he plays red. Yeah. <laughs> He's a red kind of guy. Yeah, I really hope we have it right. <laughs> <laughs> Don't want a, uh, a let's go scenario, let's go grand final scenario. Big combo from who we think is Cord. <laughs> uh, the way Josh reacted, I think we got it right. Yeah. Cord decides to go high as Josh is just up tilting next Such to the ledge. Such a smooth recovery from Cord, the ledge cancels. That weak nair sends him pretty far. 
Okay, that down air sends him the wrong and, way. Like, Josh got it, but you see him shaking his head because he knows that's not the edge guard he wanted. Yeah. Wow, what a read. That was actually really smart. He, uh, he really, he forced Court out a little bit more, and he put himself in a spot where it looked like that was Court's only option. Yeah, he could have maybe gone, like, to the left and then diagonal up, but I don't know if he would have been able to reach ledge at that situation. Yeah, so he probably had to, go, he had to go for up and then angle anyway. Nah, yeah, really less of a read and more of Josh just making Court do what he wanted. <laughs> uh, Bad yeah. quick attack from Josh. Yeah. We think. We think, we yeah. Think. We think. <laughs> Hopefully we can just, we can go the whole set like this and just be ambiguous about who is who. <laughs> Yeah, it's not going to make anyone upset. <laughs> Except Josh and Court. <laughs> and all of the 64 people watching. Yeah. They love ragging on people for getting stuff wrong. Oh, I, I hadn't noticed. <laughs> Definitely hadn't uh, done that myself before. Oh, just wait till you get a percent wrong. Oh, be no. all over you. <laughs> that was a pretty good mini combo from Josh. Nice forward tilt. Up there. These nice down air edge guards are very reminiscent of uh, <laughs> Xanadu 2015 Pikachus. It was just Josh and Dave going back and forth with these <laughs> down air edge guards. That's nice. I don't remember Old watching school. that. Old but school, man. It covers a lot. It does, and that's why they like it. The, the hitbox lasts a long time, it covers a lot of space. Uh oh. Um, it feels very safe against Pika. Oh, the that was from Court. pretty smart until he ended up getting up tilted by Court. All right, brings the stocks back to even. Uh, Court missing that angle. He wanted that angle that Beef was getting the whole time. You go, you go up and then down to the edge of the side plat. You get the ledge cancel. Edge cancel. Ledge cancel. I believe it's edge if it's like Since the edge it's of, not a, the, of a plat. Yeah, if it's not the edge of the stage. Yeah, ledge yes. if it's edge of, edge of the stage. You got the cancel. You got the cancel. <laughs> All right. Actually, I thought Josh was going forward smash there. Uh, when Pikachu's that low, it just has very limited recovery was options. Was that an up smash? Nah, it had to be a tilt. That high percent up smash would have taken it. Even a weak up smash almost took it there. It, it made a weird noise. I, I didn't Maybe make it, it weak. Huh? It didn't make an up tilt noise, but I think if you got the weak up smash, it makes the same noise as an up tilt anyway. So I'm, True. I don't know what hit him upward. We'll never know. <laughs> Maybe it was an up air. I don't know. I'll never be able to go back and watch this. <laughs> Ever. Oh, <laughs> weak man. back air. Out of all the weak attacks, one finally takes a stock. Court sitting at 168%. This should not be. <laughs> oh, wow. Just barely misses that up tilt. And that's, that's what Pikachu has to do to continue some of those horizontal combos. Like a pivot up tilt on stage. Very difficult tech. Um, especially mid-combo like that, but Court has it. Court is just keeping this stock. <laughs> he's, he's at 168. He's been at 168 this entire stock for Josh. He finally, finally gets a grab. all things to, to kill him, he gets a grab. That down smash was total bait. He was invincible the whole time and after it ended. Yeah. <laughs> I think Josh is just smart enough to know. It's like when uh, Falcons, they'll Falcon punch off the spawn platform. Yeah. And so you think you're safe going in after the punch ends, but they're still invincible. I think you did that to me yesterday. <laughs> oh, yeah, when we were playing friendlies? Yes, yeah, I totally did that you to did you. that to me. <laughs> I forgot, I did play friendlies yesterday. You were the only one. Oh, really? Yep, that was it for the That's whole day. That's crazy how we ended up commentating together. <laughs> All right. So Josh it, it was able to put on some uh, percent with that what remained of that stock. The court finally able to close it out. Solid up B escape to the top left from Court. Josh has him off stage, goes for the nair. Court goes high. All right, and I'm seeing that. Gets that forward throw. That'll kill. Yeah, Bring Court the wanted the ledge cancel there. Yeah. Just missed the platform. It made an easy grab for Josh. That's high risk, high reward situation there. Josh with the lead now this, on this last stock. Court 56%. But that's he gets Josh off tilt. stage with a grab. Oh. And he gets that back air. And now Court can just forward smash. But he goes for a walk away pivot up tilt. For some reason. 
<laughs> I really thought he was going to F smash ledge. He could have done pretty much anything other than what he did. But the pivot away into a grab, he just barely had enough space for that to work. Josh thought he was going to cover that whole space with that uh, down air, but yeah. somehow Cord got a grab off. <laughs> Little tiny spaces. So that's game two, and that, that, that brings the score up to 1-1. One, one. I believe Court won the first game, didn't he? Yeah, uh, a little confused. All right, so we have Court with uh, two games to Josh's. Uh, right, Josh. Red Hat did just win both, right? Yep, Red yeah, Hat won that's both. That's what I thought. Okay, we've had uh, we've had Josh's. It can get confusing with all these Pikas on screen. Yeah, there are a lot of rats. A lot of rats. It's like being in, it's like being back in Baltimore. <laughs> Never been to Baltimore. Yeah, I mean, go to any city where there are alleys. There's some rats. I meant literal rats. Oh, literal rats. Literal rats. There actually aren't that many Pikas. <laughs> there's, there's Josh. Uh, maybe one or two others. No, the... Uh, oh, Court with wow. the four there. He did not want it. You see a lot of Pikas, they, they want that that falling forward up air or nair, and they accidentally hit the four there. Up toe at the ledge. Just a little early from Court. Yeah. That would have been the Josh stock, recovery. too. All right, gets a down air, sends him off stage. Smash the eyes up against the platform. Up that should thunder. be a down B. That won't That's kill. The there, there are percents where the up tilt hits them too high for a back air, and a thunder won't take the stock. So you're just kind of upset about it. Yeah, there's just that one weird percentage where it's just like, all right, so I got an up tilt, but I can't kill it. It's him. actually when uh, reverse weak up smash is your best option. <laughs> Much harder to connect. But better follow-up options. Yeah. So Josh taking a lead now. Weak lead. He's got one. Oh, Court with the back air. Sorry, what were you saying about the lead? I said it was weak. Ah. It was weak. Yeah. <laughs> I was gonna make fun of someone with a weak comment, and I just I just let it go. All right, fair enough. Yeah. <laughs> All right. I'm not in a vindictive mood yet. <laughs> this is a good top eight. Yeah. Fast pace, back and forth. Core well, was looking for that grab there. Ended up shielding instead. All right. And Josh, Josh gets that follow up. for the Nair instead of a forward air. Usually uh, that's his, his thing. He'll, he'll follow up the tech on a platform with a forward air into a jab grab. Um, Maybe he just, he he recognized that Core might have enough DI that the forward air wouldn't have connected to the jab grab and maybe just wanted the extra damage to get him off stage. Totally possible. He has been uh, pretty on point with a lot of his edge guards. As uh, annoying as it could be to edge guard Pika as Pika, you know, you don't have like a spike, so you're not getting these like quick, easy ones. Exactly. Um, it's usually like just repeated hits. And there's that uh, the weak up smash into a back air. Which some people, I would say, most people don't actually intend to do that. It's no. usually they're trying to get the up smash into the thunder, and then they're just like get the weak, and they're yeah, like, oh, it's just, well, this is just as good. Right, right. It, <laughs> that's the thing. Even if you get the weak hit, you can still follow it up. So it's you know kind of like, oh, why not use this option? Peak of privilege. See there, that probably should have been a forward air, so you could have gotten a grab on the shield. Offs for a down air. Nice forward tilt. That was really smart. Oh, he, Josh just. One of the things Josh likes to say is how turnaround is the hardest tech in the game. Just turning around in place. <laughs> and he just did it by accident there. <laughs> and missed that up smash. Maybe not turning around is the hardest tech in the and game. And if Cork gets his edge guard, this is a big swing. Josh was about to go up two socks to one. Drift's and now he's down. So big swing. And we have seen Court manage to hold on to these stocks at really high percents. And the combo Josh monster he away. Is. Man, this is not enough to save it. Zero to death. Another 3-0. Another 3-0. So we had one that wasn't. Um, Court, though, trying to really cement himself as... Yeah, you stay there, Court. You're not going anywhere. <laughs> <laughs> Court walking off stage, maybe wants to get a drink. Who knows? But really cementing himself, like I said, as the number one player in Brazil. Yeah. Like He wants to say, like, yes, I am the best in Brazil. And now he's over here in the U.S. Um, not making a name for himself. We all know who he is. Yeah. But... <laughs> Really uh, putting it to some of the top players in the U.S. Absolutely, like Josh, um, just making him understand. You know, I'm number one in Brazil, but I'm I want to be number one everywhere. Yeah, yeah. I mean, he, I, I 
trying. I can't remember who he lost to in uh, at Gommel. I guess it was. It must have been Revan. Must have been. Um, yeah. So you know, one of the top Kirby players in North America. Yeah. Um, definitely not bad. Not to a bad lose loss. To Revan, <laughs> not a uh, bad loss. Especially considering how how good Revan can be against mm -hmm. um, Pika. He actually is very good against Pika. Absolutely. Um, but now we get to see Court versus Wizrobe. That'll be, be interesting. Fun. Yeah. Are you are you feeling you feeling Yoshi Dittos? No. <laughs> um, I, I think I think Court will go Pika. You're probably right. Um, or Kirby. Court has a solid Kirby. Um, I haven't seen much of it. Yeah, I just saw him bust it out in I don't know if it was pools or mm. one of his yeah, I think it was pools. Okay. Um, not in his division matches. Which do you um, think he'd be more comfortable with? Like the most comfortable he'd be with just in general. It's not tough. necessarily really against don't know. Yoshi. Like Court uh, Right now, Court is kind of an enigma for a lot of us. We don't really know what he's thinking. Yeah, maybe we'll um, go Link. Who knows? Yeah, like, I doubt it. <laughs> um, we kind of we got him to go Link once again on my level, and he just like threw the set away because he didn't care. Yeah. Um, it was like one of his last round robin sets, and uh, I think placings were already set. Like the match literally didn't matter. <laughs> um, so he. Yeah, that's what happens when you play round robin out of order. Yeah, um, a lot of your like there isn't actually an order. A lot of people don't realize that. I did not um, know that. So that can be, uh, you know, if people don't know that, mm -hmm. that then you if you play like the top two seeds first in the round robin, 